The hard interchange as we know it, seen by millions of locals, visitors and travellers through the years, is no more. The 50s landmark will now make way for a gleaming 21st century replacement. The new building will be fit for the modern age, its glass structure giving travellers a view of Portsmouth's busy dock alongside its historical dockyard. So today is the start of the demolition of the old bus interchange here at the Hard. This bus interchange was built in the 50s and it's really not fit for purpose anymore. Uh, this is the gateway to the city. We are a city that really relies so heavily on tourism with over 13,000 people employed in our tourist related businesses around the city. So having a gateway to the city here in the Hard that's really fit for purpose, a 21st century modern bus interchange with real-time bus information systems uh, and a beautiful glass roof so you can see the amazing warrior behind it is essential. So today we've got local contractors on site, the demolition has started, the work overall started in August this year and it finishes in August next year so it's a 12 month programme and I really want to say thank you to all of the local businesses, in particular the taxis, who've really really pulled together to uh, make this happen. The £7 million project is being paid for by the council, together with the Solent Local Enterprise Partnership. British Rail and the bus companies have also made contributions. Local businesses and residents will have to put up with disruption here until next summer. A one-way system is already in place, the taxi rank has been moved down the road and the bus stops relocated. But for the contractors on site now, a project that has been 10 years in the planning is finally coming to life. Well, we all, we all like a demolition. Everyone likes a demolition and the big machines. But making a new building a, a lasting asset for the council, that's, that's also very exciting. Uh, it's quite a strange construction. It's a block construction with, with concrete, reinforced concrete floors. There's no, no columns supporting the floors, so it, it's a strange, a heavy reinforced slab. Um, yeah, no, apart from that, it's fairly, fairly standardish construction, really. The project is part of a £1.8 billion investment for the city over the next 20 years. The new interchange will link with the M275 Park and Ride and longer term plans to improve the city centre layout. Charlotte Buredney at the Hard for that Solent.